live, live, baby, live tonight from the Outer Rim in what mm. is another gorgeous Monday morning, Cubs. This is a Monday morning Monday show. Monday morning. Yeah, we can't say <laughs> night for rogue actions. It's always Monday morning, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm having hair issues here, Cubs. I don't know if you can see. I'm having this, it too, man. It's like getting my eyes. I'm growing uh, it out. I'm going all We're micro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I call micro. Please. <laughs> massive thing going on. Yo, you know, uh, while, while we're on the subject of hair, and I know, I know we should get into the movie, but I just got to say, it's March. You know what happens in March? No. What happens in March? Mustache March. I'm already are, are there, you, brother. Are you doing it with me? I'm already there, yeah, are you, man. You do I'm, already I'm, have a mustache. Two, two steps okay, ahead, all right. I'm, I'm coming up. I'm coming up. All right. All, all right. right. Let's do it. Everyone else, all do right, it with us. guys. <laughs> <laughs> you want to grow a mustache with me and Cubs? It's going to be a fun time. <laughs> Welcome back to Rogue Actions, everybody, where we got six topics in total. Three on my channel, three on Cubs' channel. Boom. If you want the whole video, you got to go watch and subscribe to both. Here we yep. go, Cubs. You ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. I was born ready. And let us know what you guys think about the new layout. Yes. On the screen. Yes. I'm Big pretty excited about it. He did, he did a lot of work. I've been working look hard. How pretty this yeah. is. Look how Woo. pretty this is. Mm. Uh, he gave a, a Rogue Actions a 2020 upgrade. So, yep. uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll we keep upgrading. We'll keep we'll keep yeah. upgrading. So, Luminara and GR <laughs> Rework. <laughs> yes, Cubs. Um, there's been a lot of talk with Luminara being our logging character reward for the day. How's your Luminara looking in 2020, buddy? Luminara Undie. I, I would pull up my game, but I don't have it launched right now. But I believe, if I remember right, she is gear 11. So not terrible, actually. I want to say mine's gear 10. And do you remember the days, Cubs, of the oh, power of Daka and Lumi? There we go. Uh, being legit healers. What do you got? Gear 11. Here, I'll go gear full 11. screen. Gear 11, very, very, Luminara. Very, so very impressive there. Yeah, man, I just remember how that... I re I thought Luminara and Jedi Consular were basically the same character, only Luminara actually had a good heal, where she could apply that extra heal. I've never... I don't even know what her Zeta does. I <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It's just like... I think it, I think it adds, like, an evasion, just like a, like a small percentage. Oh, wow, evasion. evasion. How useful. Okay. Yeah, yeah, evasion uh, in 2020, right? Yeah, evasion um, in 2020. Yeah. <laughs> what, a, what a useless uh, yeah, stat. It's funny you say that she's, she's just like JC, because yeah. JC has the force push. He's got a... The, their animation, their, their little icon looks exactly the same, too. They do the same. Mm -hmm. It's like they copied it. <laughs> okay, so Galactic Republic rework. And these are all yeah. the the second tier Jedi, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Your Ethkoth, your Ayla, yep. your maybe Barris will get a touch. Your Kit Mace Fisto. and your Kit Fisto. Yeah, those are the guys that are going to get looked at here. Do yeah. we think, do we really think there is a Galactic, uh, a second tier of Galactic Republic reworks happening? I don't know. It, it is really interesting that she would be the logging character because to me, what makes a lot more sense for this month is something to do with the Galactic Legends, right? Right. And so it does kind of throw you for a loop, doesn't it? And what what would be the catalyst to lead to something? Um, maybe celebrating the cam unlocks, which are starting to roll in. I don't know, but I would love it. Absolutely love it if my uh, Clone Wars Jedi got a rework. It could mean that we have something else coming other than Galactic Legends this month uh, to do with maybe the Clone Wars TV show, which I would love, uh, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. I think this probably means nothing. Well, maybe it means nothing, but maybe it's light tune-ups just to say they did something. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a great, uh, yeah. it's a great story to tell. Not full-on reworks, but... Um, you know, we're going to talk about Vet Han a little bit later, and oh. that's more of a tune-up in my mind. But um, yeah. maybe it's something like that, and it's not like, you know, it's just small changes. Like we saw with yeah. uh, a lot of the Separatist units where it was just like a sentence deleted here, a sentence right. added here. Maybe it's like under Gyari Mundi it does something, or, you know, they, they, they specifically call out another unit, something like that. I don't know. Just speculating, but uh, it's interesting that that is a weird pick for a login character. I would get uh, a lot more. I, I'll just put it this way. If this was April, okay, if we had just got the Galactic Legends and we're seeing the login character for April, I would be 99% more excited about this. But I right. just, I have such a hard time seeing them doing anything meaningful with Luminara in the month that they're doing Galactic Legends. Yeah, it's it just feels weird. I don't know. Yeah, I, I just I'm I I'm maybe, maybe tempering my looks, expectations. Yeah, maybe it was just some random piece of code they had in there, and they're like, ah, whatever, roll with it. They have no coding <laughs> issues, so yeah, they, 
they, oh, yeah, we'll get there. they would have been able to move it easily. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, that's enough on Lumi here. Uh, that's more time than she's gotten over the last, like, four years, so. Uh, Content! Talk. Yeah, it seems to be a common theme with our shows here. Oh, man. Uh, but I, 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 uh, so this is more in line with the, the dev Q&A. Yeah. And uh, a couple things with the dev Q&A while we're on it. Yeah. Uh, I thought I, I pulled it up, and the very first thing it says, CG Top Hat. He's out sick, or is he out looking for a new job? That was like, the worst thing that came to mind. I was like, we need to get CG oh, Top man. Cash in here, right? Right, Cubs? Yeah, <laughs> Top Cash. Hey, ch yeah, check out Top Cash. I got an exclusive interview with him over on my channel. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, but there was one question deep in those that QA session where it was just like, what did it say? It was like, do you oh. consider like new units content? And they're like, yes, we very much do. And it's just like, Cubs, do you consider new units actual content? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, so th the furthest I can stretch this in my mind is I did that finalizer event and I did like, I could only do two tiers because my dark side tips or chips are so bad. But like they showed the ventral cannon. And I'm like, oh, that's yeah. a new animation I haven't seen. And like, look how big this thing is. And it's just, is that new content? I don't yeah. know. I mean, it's a new hey, animation. Hey, here's the direct response. He said, because I'll defend CG just a little bit here. While we broadly term character ships and their corresponding events as content, this is not the new content that I referred to in previous Q and A's. Right. And he goes okay, on to basically fair. explain um, that they're they're looking to. I actually really like this statement here. We are actively working on new systems to aid in the authoring of interesting and new content. These systems will take time to build, but are expected to yield a fresh new content landscape. So he's talking in pretty big terms here. So while I think it is a little bit laughable to consider new characters' ships um, as content, um, the second half of the answer I actually quite approve of. Um, at least the idea of it sounds enticing for me. Yeah, so. and this is kind of like the spaghetti stuff that we talked about, the spaghetti code that we talked yeah. about a while ago. It seems like they're they're making they're making you know statements that to fix that. And then they say something a bit later. We're going to talk about that kind of just. You know, kind of <laughs> yeah, they bread. basically yeah we're gonna talk about we'll we'll talk more about it on my video uh, as you can see it's uh the last topic on our list here but it is a bit amusing that they've said in more words yeah they're, they're they talking out of both sides framework mouth, issues really. and then they said there's no framework issues so I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on over there all right all right last bit of thing here is the veteran Han tune up and Woo! I have a huge problem with this dude oh there is a okay. post. There is a post from CG Capgast. I don't know. I don't think he even works there anymore. Okay. Um, CG Capgast. I, I have it. I should just get. I'll, I'll send it to you. Maybe I'll put it up on my video if I edit this. Okay. Um, but basically, what the if post says is this: this was this was when um, resistance. They were required for the JTR event, and everybody yeah. was pissed that they had to farm them. Mm -hmm. And it was basically them saying. Well, within our lore, they don't really fit within our lore, so they're not getting the resistance tags and blah, 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 right? It was like this long-winded explanation of why they're not going to get the resistance tags. Here we are, all these years later, no resistance tags. We need a cash grab for Kylo Ren, Galactic Legend. So all of a sudden, he's the, their resistance now, and I guess you can say that Cubs, well... In the new movie, we, we've learned more about, you know, Han and Chewie, and it makes a bit more sense for them to, to have resistance tags in 2020 than it did in 2018. But yeah, I, it just, I don't know, man. It felt like before they were very much making decisions based around lore impacts and how it affects the actual lore. And now they're very much just saying, ah, oh, you know, not a lot of people have their vet Han all leveled up, relicked up. Oh, let's just throw that in there. I, that's how it feels to me. Am I wrong? Yes. Now, you're not wrong in your genuine, authentic reaction to that. It's okay for you okay. to be upset. But I think this is a player-friendly move. Now, adding Han as a requirement is not a player-friendly move. But adding the resistance tag is very player-friendly. They gave an explanation back in the day on why they didn't have that there. And so the non-player-friendly thing here is to find a character that none of us have and chuck him into the requirements for Kylo Ren. However, if you consider it from a lore perspective, having Vet Han needed for Kylo Ren, I think it actually does make a lot of sense, even though I, I don't think that's the way they're thinking about it. I think it is a, it's meant to be more of a cash yeah, grab. Yeah. 
Giving them the resistance tags in particular is nothing but player friendly because it takes a useless character or somewhat useless character and gives them a squad. Gives them yeah. a leader. There's nothing bad about that in my view. Now, I, yeah. I, I, I could get behind the arguments that including him was, is is not very player friendly, but the specific, uh, you know, angle you're taking here about the tag itself, there's nothing negative about that in my view. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just become so jaded by a lot of the moves recently. To me, it feels like it's like the Ebon Hawk and like the ha Lando's Falcon requirements for, you know, Holdo. It's like, <laughs> I know. It's well, like, they don't, what? they didn't really, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I see that one both ways. I do. I don't mean, I'm, I'm, don't call me an apologist, Hall, but they, there's not that many ships for them to include. And so what are they going to include? But, you know, most, basically all those ships I had except for Lando's Falcon, and I don't really do ships. Well, okay, so. so here's the next question. Here's the next part. Okay, of the okay, hit buddy. me. Yeah. Is there either one of these uh, reclassification of resistance characters in Vet Han and Vet Chu, are they going to force? Are they going to entice you to level those guys up at this point? Uh, I would say it actually kind of does, depending on what the theory craft team looks like. I mean, I I don't know if you saw Clash's video about uh, Relic Han, Relic Vet Han. I, I've seen Clash's video. It's a great it, video. It, yeah, and so imagine, I think, when, when they first came out, there was a lot of speculation, man, if these guys just had the resistance tag, they would be OP as hell. Right. Yeah, and yeah, so I'm intrigued at best right now by what these guys are going to do in a resistance squad because what I would like to see is, now we've got enough resistance characters, I would like two solid resistance squads. And in my opinion, I think that we might get there with Vet Han and Chewie having that uh, that resistance tag, but we'll see. So I I don't know yet because I haven't had a chance to test it or anything, but I'm intrigued. So it it it, kinda, it might make me want to farm them. How many? We're up to like with these two new additions, we're up to almost like 15 resistance characters, right? That's yeah. a pretty damn big faction. Yeah, absolutely. And here, here's something else I want to say. Um, there is something that the original JTR event really missed out on. And you know what it was? What? An old Ben Vader-like moment with Han and Kylo Ren. Oh, yeah. Having they, they, that they, they Han as a requirement right. yeah. potentially gives us that moment. Yeah, they didn't do that. That was so weird. I may I may forgive that. them for including Vet Han in this if we get that moment. Because yeah. that would be sick. It would be awesome. It would be very cool. Yep. Well, uh, that's that's some good speculation and a good video, man. Thanks for coming yeah. by the hall again. Sorry, I I, I, I I took a pretty hard stance against you there. I'm sorry about that. No, but no, no. It's a good conversation, <laughs> man. I'm good. I'm a big boy. You're a big I can, boy. I can be angry about the, 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 the convenience of some of these taggings at this point, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. it's well, the, the, the bottom line to me is they did not need to tag him that to include him. He didn't have to yeah. be tagged. That was just yeah. that was just player friendly. So including him, not player friendly. Tag player friendly. Okay. All right. Very good. All right, guys. We have three more topics over at Cubs' channel. So uh, head on over there and watch the second half of this video. Cubs, any shouting words uh, for the hall here before we head on out? I just wanted to say I love the hall. Always love the hall. All right. Happy Monday, everybody. Yep. We are wishing you a good night from the outer rim. We're issuing the evacuation code. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. See ya.